Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to Channel Skyrim and the College of Winterhold Storyline. So, the eagle eyed of you will have noticed that uh, this is titled The College of Winterhold Number Two, and that's because I did an old video recommending you join the College of Winterhold as soon as you can as a new player. So you get uh, the bed, storage space, and access to enchanting alchemy tables, etc. Um, so I recommend uh, you watch that if you haven't already. Uh, the link will be in the description. Okay, let's just dive into the first quest, which is under Sarthol. Okay, Sarthol is found a short distance southwest of the College of Windhold, easy to get to. Um, some interesting facts about Sarthol. It was once the capital city of the Empire of the Norse, founded by Isgrimor. It was one of the first cities established by men in Tamriel. The Snow Elves destroyed the city in uh, what is now known as the Night of Tears, and only Isgrimor and his two sons escaped during the carnage. Later, the destruction of the city will be avenged when Isgrimor returned with his famed warrior for 500 companions. The famed enchanter, also known, also known as Azadel, uh, heard of the arrival of Isgrimor and the 500, and he went to them and offered his services uh, with him and his army. The steel imbued with powerful enchantments, Isgrimor, the 500 companions and Azadel began to hunt down the remaining snow elves across Skyrim and Solstheim and a war would begin with t between the two races. The 500 companions eventually won with the vast majority of the snow elves dying in the line of duty. Um, archaeologist Florinius discovered that snow elves had an intricate understanding of the city's layout before launching their assault. The battle which destroyed Sarthol may have been related to the Eye of Magnus, which the Snow Elves held dear to their culture, which ties in with this whole questline. So it seems the deeper you go, the more unpleasant the Nords are. Anyway, let's crack on with this questline. I'm ready, let's go. Please stay close to me while we're inside. It should be safe, but it's always better to be cautious. Okay, me first then. Oh, come on guys, move, move, move. Chop, chop. <laughs> As a special treat, I've allowed Cedric to come into this barrow. He normally isn't allowed, but he's been a good boy. Honestly, following Tolfdi around drives you up the bloody walls sometimes. So you can just jump off here. I don't have any questions. What would you like me to do? Ah, yes. Well, why don't you see if you can assist Arniel Gain? He's one of our scholars, here working on cataloging our finds. I expect he'd appreciate some help in locating any additional magical artifacts here in the ruins. Any enchanted items will do. The usefulness of the enchantment is irrelevant. If you find anything, the class can look it over. Now let's see. What shall we have the rest of you do? Brelina, my dear, why don't you search for... Okay, just pop round here. It can get a bit, little bit confusing round here. Okay, yeah, down there. What the... Oh, Jennifer, get out of the way. I just find it easier to just jump down here. Okay, and there you are. It's going to take forever to sit through a. He what? Told to help you me, send me to help you. Then. Fine, fine. Just, just don't make a mess of my work. All right. I've only looked through a portion of this section. You, uh, you can look around in the chambers just north of here. Try and be careful, all right? We don't want to damage anything. Just round what up did the you need me to do? Artifacts so that I can catalog them. Always good talking to you, friend. <laughs> okay, I think this is fairly easy. And you get to keep these as well. So if you're a new player, so it's, uh, you probably get about 500 gold for them or something. Okay. Ooh, look, there's another one. 
and it's an amulet and we activate that and all of a sudden we're trapped so all we have to do is uh, well we'll have to speak to Tolf Deer in a minute but um, you put on the amulet and you fire a destruction spell at it so just choose one um, let's have a look what we got elemental blast uh, let's do elemental blast that makes a big bang Okay, so let's go and have a word with Tolf dear. What in the world? When he eventually that gets here. Is everything all right? I'm trapped in here. How in the world did that happen? The mind boggles. I pulled really? an amulet off the wall. Perhaps the amulet is important somehow. Is there you some think? way you can use it? Okay. Right. Let's uh, put the amulet on. Where is it? Where is it? There you go. So it's quite a cool looking amulet. Okay. Yeah, it could well be the top, dear. Anyway, just fire, fire your, your magic at it. Whatever it is, it's magic got. It'll, it'll be fine. Okay, that's it. And now we'll have to wait for... Oh, come on. This is a great little barrow, but this really is irritating, actually. Uh, he takes so long. Well, this so you might want to sort of race ahead of him a bit. And very maybe no enemy more foul than a walking corpse. Another way. This be sealed off. What is this place? Okay. We're going to have a little vision soon. Sorry, spoiler alert. Need something? Hold, mage, and listen well. Know that you have set in motion a chain of events that cannot be stopped. Judgment has not been passed, as you had no way of knowing. Judgment will be passed on your actions to come, and how you deal with the dangers ahead of you. This warning is passed to you because the Sigic Order believes in you. Well, thank you very much. You, mage, and you alone have the potential to prevent disaster. Take great care and know that the order is watching. <laughs> okay, I right. So the Sigic Order's had a little chat with us. Something rather strange just then. What just happened? Some sort of I'm ghost or apparition appeared and spoke to me. Can you tell me more about what you saw? He said something order. about danger ahead and, and the Sigic sure Order. That, that's very odd. You and danger ahead? Why, that doesn't make any sense at all. The Sigics have no connection to these ruins, and no one's seen any of their order in a long time. Perhaps we should take a look inside these coffins. Now, please do be careful. Who knows what we're going to find? Oh, I think we know. Okay, so you can ask mm -hmm. him all the, uh, the bits and bobs. And uh, I think we know what's going to happen next. Oh, no. Yeah, we're right in the head. Yeah, sure you took that. Good yeah, death cruise with me. No one stands a chance. This is simply fascinating. Oh, come on, come on. Prepared to defend yourself. Okay. Let's just go. See you later. Damn, come on. Where's the hitbox in this? There you go. 
And here we go. This is quite a good little fight, this one. Good night. Good night. Good oh, miss, you little bugger. Good night. <laughs> oh, by the way, as usual, I'm, I'm only looting as and when I feel like it, guys. Anyway, hit the right hand one first and then hit the left hand one first. And we're going through. Yeah, usual story, being careful of not getting backdoored. Ooh. <laughs> Good night. Oh. And I knew that was there as well. Go on, Cedric. Get in there, boy. Oh, Ebony Shield. Lovely. Nom nom. And obviously this is all... Um, a uh, leveled loot. I'm oh, not sold him. Last dagger. Goal six, that's pretty rubbish. This is pretty rubbish. You're kidding that one, guys. Okay. Magic and lum -num. Okay, we come up to the first puzzle, which is very simple. It's whatever the image is behind the pillar, uh, you turn the pillar to that correspond with that image. So that one's a hawk, so turn that one's a hawk. The first one was fine. That one again's a hawk. Okay, that one's a snake, so turn the pillar to a snake. I think you're getting the idea. That one's a whale or dolphin. So it turns that, and that one again is a hawk. And there you go, job done. Really, really simple. I might do like a very quick little uh, how-to puzzle uh, video on this one, actually, because the next one's a little trickier. Okay, tippy tippy. I'm not looking for all the chests and stuff, as I said before. <coughs> Ooh. Good night. Okay, we well got gold three. That's pretty rubbish. Don't need that. What's in there? Silver ring. Oh. I see a little room. Oh, another one. OK. 
Okay. Okay, we're coming up to the uh, the second puzzle. This is a little bit more complicated. Yeah, three of the pillars actually turn more than just themselves. So um, I'll just show you what happens if you get it wrong. You get poisoned. And you take it back, you get poisoned again. So what happens if you turn this one, that turns itself and the one beside it. Okay, if you turn this one, nothing else gets turned. If you turn this one, three of them get turned. And if you turn this one, all four of them get turned. So, what you've got to do is progress downwards. So you start with this one first. So that's a whale, but I'll turn it as if it wasn't. So you, get, so you can hear all the other pillars are turning, so that's not a whale now. This one's a snake, and I'll turn it as if it was, wasn't, and you can hear the other pillars turning. So that's a whale and a snake. Then you've got to go to this one and turn it to a hawk, because that's the only other one it turns. And this one doesn't turn anything. Okay, and you set it to the whale. That's how you do it. Okay. So it's so a left uh, forward one first, left second one first, the right forward one, and then the right backward one. I thought it high time I caught up with you. Ultima stamina, nom nom. That's just a normal helmet, I think. And, oh, ultimate magica, nom nom. I think I already got that, but I'll take it anyway. Thank you. This is why I don't generally bring followers into barrows and stuff. I've got the uh, the perk where I don't set off traps, but obviously, clearly, obviously, they, they don't have it. Now, this is a, a bit of a, of a weird one, guys. Um, you can get into a fight that you can't actually kill your opponent. You have to wait for Tolf Deer to come and do it. So you're, you're basically, your job is to just hold him off, as it were. So, as usual, I'll probably send in the boys. Okay. Okay, let those guys go and deal with him. Okay, well, Tolkien goes and does his stuff. Oh, my shout's not working for some reason. Come on, where's my shout? Right, what's done? What has happened? Oh, I didn't... Oh, what a bug. It's too late. Yeah, it's Tolf did that actually uh, kills him. So, uh, let's uh, loot the little bugger and the Gorda amulet fragment. We'll nom that. Nom nom. Enchanted potion, why not? Crystal gem, nom nom. What do you have that? Ritter's ceiling or seeding? Yes, I think it is. Okay. Ritter's ceiling, yeah, that's right. Okay, you guys can read that in your own time if uh, you want to. Okay, more importantly, the staff of Yurik Goldson. And uh, this is actually quite a tidy little staff, actually. Where are you? Staff Yurik Goldson. Target takes 25 points of damage and twice as much uh, magic of damage, which is really, really handy. Um, yeah, it's excellent, excellent stuff. Really good. Uh, especially, obviously, against mages and stuff. Anyway, to speak what to Tolf Deer. What is this thing? I have no idea. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. The Archmage needs to be informed immediately. 
He needs to see this for himself. I don't dare leave this unattended. Can you return to the college and inform Sabo Saren of this discovery? Please, hurry. Okay. So, we've got to leg it out. Doing that? <laughs> he's a daft old coot, he really is. Actually, he's a really likeable little character in this, uh, this game. And we got a word wall. Let's see what's in the chest. Nom nom. Nom nom. Nom nom. Nom nom. Nom nom. Ooh. Nom nom. And nom nom. That's not a bad hole. But as it, as it, as it goes, uh, it's always levelled. Let's see what word we're going to learn today. Ice, ice form. It's a shout I never use, but uh, hey. I might start sometime. Okay, get out of the way, Jennifer. And just jump down here. And we'll head out up uh, into Skyrim. Okay, right, I think we've got to go back to the college. And we're all here, boys, girls. Yep, chop, chop, let's go. And let's travel all the way back to the college. Yeah, struggling to see Sarthor as the first major city in Skyrim. As far as I can tell, it's just a barrow. So, uh, yeah, doesn't kind of make sense to me, but hey-ho. Not my job to reason why. Okay, where is that gosh darn Archmage? Okay, where are you, dude? That's how I came. I've got a little mod on the uh, the college to make it a bit more interesting. And uh, yeah, it's up here, isn't it? God, it's so long since I've been up here. There you go, Archmage's quarters. Which shall soon be mine. Yeah, it's an interesting little mod. It just adds like a little uh, tweak uh, to the college, make it a little bit more believable. What's on your mind? I need to speak to you about Sarthal. Ah, please don't tell me that another one of the apprentices has been incinerated. I have enough to deal with right now. We found some sort of uh, orb. Tolfdir wanted I you to see it. See. I trust that Tolfdir will provide a more specific explanation. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. Tolfdir normally looks after your little group, yes? Since he's apparently occupied, and I will need to see this discovery for myself, I think perhaps you should begin researching the subject. And good work. The next time you find yourself exploring Nordic ruins, perhaps this will be helpful. And stuff for Mage Light uh, you know, that's a handy little staff actually. Okay, that's it. Uh, beginning of the uh, college uh, storyline. I hope you enjoyed it guys. See you later. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.